Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we just picked up some South Street Burgers, best burger place in Toronto, which, and we've done the first most American thing, and we are now off to do the second most American thing that I can think of, and that is drive in the movie theater. So we're gonna get in our car, drive to the movies, and we'll catch you there later. So we're in a line of cars waiting to get in. Do you have the tickets? Yes, touch, touch free. All right, everybody, we are now at Ontario Place. First time at a driving theater in a Tesla, actually. I, I had to look this up. There's a camp mode, which I'm gonna put the car in and then turn the headlights off, which I just did. Unfortunately, the screen doesn't really turn off. I feel like this is one of the issues, downsides perhaps. This is why you have a magical cloth. We actually use this to clean the windshield just now. But there you go, it's perfect. It's MacGyver, it's all good. We can have our dinner. Why is this so Watch. sketchy? It's, it's, it's not, it's, it's awesome. Look, it's perfect. It's like you're about to unveil a really <laughs> awesome masterpiece and then there's like no masterpiece. We have the uh, Van Gogh painting under this. Uh, we're gonna be auctioning off. All right, so we have a very American themed night today. So we got our American burgers and our American fries and we're doing a very American entertainment activity. Unfortunately, we're still restricted in terms of uh, coronavirus, so the cinema theaters are closed, but this is obviously very comparable, mm -hmm. and we're gonna replicate the going to the movie experience. We are gonna watch The Parent Trap today, and Honestly, it is one of my absolute favorite movies from my childhood and I've seen it maybe five or six times. I'm really excited to show it to Will because he hasn't seen it before. They used to play it quite often on Disney Channel and the first time that we ever got Disney Channel was when we moved to Dubai and I remember just watching it in the evening and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the story at all but it's a really heartwarming movie and it's really fun. Nice. So. It's gonna be quite nostalgic for me tonight. Yeah, I've never been to a drive-in. Um, I think it's like before our times, really, yeah. right? Yeah. I, and it's gonna be a really interesting experience. The audio comes through our car, so we're gonna have amazing audio. Uh, we tune into the uh, radio station, and uh, I will say I've never been to a theater this early. I'm usually like right on time or even late because they run so many commercials. Usually my family, we're always really late to the movies. We usually don't get to see the first 10 minutes, but you've got to get to the drive-in at least 20 minutes before. And the drive-in that we're in now, it's right by the Lake Ontario and it fits 180 cars. So obviously they need like at least an hour, yeah. I would say or so to get all these cars lined up and to get everybody settled to watch the movie. It's super dark, but uh, that's the screen. We got so many cars, socially distanced. We got Toronto, CN Tower over there, and cars around us. Two, two in love can make it. Take my heart and please don't. Oh no, it is starting. It's starting! Okay, we're gonna watch a movie. They did have trailers, which is pretty interesting, with like Christmas trailers, so I'll let you guys know how it is. So it's clearly not the evening anymore. It's actually the second day. We uh, got tired after the movie, decided to come back, and um, Lisa, what'd you think of the experience? You're making coffee? I am, I'm making coffee in my Hario V60. Thoughts? Did you like it? Not like it? Um, I think for a quarantine uh, pandemic life, it's like a pretty good experience. Yeah. Cool. What, what did you think? What did, I'm really curious to hear what you thought of the movie. Yeah. Let's, um, I'll let you make the coffee. Let's sit down and actually talk about it. What 
are we talking about? Um, I was asking how you enjoyed The Parent Trap. It's a really family friendly movie. Um, really perfect for for the drive-in theater, actually. Yeah, no, I loved it. It's like very like, it's very feel good movie. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to watch like the latest, like, I don't know, Christopher Nolan movie or whatnot, just because I want to have like a really solid experience. But it's, um, you know, for a movie that's not about the visuals, not about the audio, it's like, okay, it's like a nice story. Yeah, I would definitely go. I guess that, yeah, I it's guess that experience. is perfect for, the movie is perfect for like family, the experience. Right? Yeah, especially, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. And I think the, the novelty yeah. of the experience is what made it for me, because as we were saying yesterday, it is our first time. Yeah. And I, I don't think this is something that I would do to watch movies, but as a special occasion, I thought it was pretty, pretty fun. And so you drive into this huge parking lot, um, they direct you to where you have to stand, and everybody turns their headlights off. Supposedly. <laughs> that was actually one of the things that really, I, it, it not ruined the experience, but it definitely, you know, made it worse, I would say. There's cars from time to time around us that would turn their headlights on, uh, the brake lights on. It's a little bit distracting, that's the case, but the Tesla made it amazing, so. Oh, and the, also the concession, right? There, there's technically, see, the experience I feel like should include the ability to walk around, grab snacks and whatnot, but we can only do that when we were going in and it's obviously socially distanced, you have to order in advance. So again, it's a little bit different, more modified, which is such as the case in 2020. When it comes to the concession stand, I actually, or like food and the theater in general, I actually prefer the drive-in because you can bring in your own food. So if you want Chinese takeout, if you want Thai, if you want sushi, you can bring whatever you want because like, there's very minimal selection at the concession stand. Yep. But when you go to the movie theater and you want to eat a pizza, you usually have to sneak it in. And it's really difficult to sneak a whole pizza in. I mean, we've done it before. I don't know. I've done it before. <laughs> Story time. Okay, we're gonna go enjoy our coffee now and our croissants. Um, any last words from you? No? You enjoy the movie, Lisa? Awesome. All right, I'll see you guys next time.